Hey guys, Persistent Programmer over here and welcome to another episode of PyBytes. And today what we're going to do is build on something we learned in our first episode which is list comprehension. So I will put the link to the first episode below if you haven't watched that, uh, it's in the description. So go watch that first before watching this video. Great, so what we're going to do today is initialize a 2D matrix filled with zeros with the same length as the input rows and columns here. So if we're given three rows and three columns, uh, we need to create a 2D matrix with this size of rows and columns. So our output will look like this. And this type of problem is really useful when we're doing certain dynamic programming questions. So this will definitely come in handy um, during those times. So what I'm going to do is first of all show you how you can do this with two nested for loops and then we're going to go ahead and apply list comprehension to that and see how the solution looks in just a single line. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is create my answer matrix. So this will this is where um, we will return or print this um, full matrix here. So I will say MTX equals and initialize that to a blank list and then what I'm gonna do is I will say for r let me make this shorter so we'll say for r in range and we want three rows so in range three and I'm going to initialize a uh, row list here so for each row um, I will say for C in range, actually I should put rows here, so range rows and range calls. So these are the lengths of rows and columns that we need to create in our answer uh, matrix that we're going to print. So I have the columns here and what I'm going to do is I will say row dot append zero and so we have now put in uh, the three zeros so if I were to print this it would look like this like zero 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 and now what we need to do is put our um, row in the matrix so I will say mtx dot append and put in the row that we just filled with the zeros Okay, and I'll go ahead and print this matrix. So print MTX. Okay, so let's save this and give this a run. So I just ran this and yeah, great, so it works. So we have successfully done this, but it took us so many lines to do. Now I will show you guys a quick way to uh, do this using list comprehension in Python. Awesome, so what I'm going to do is directly populate the matrix here and the inner for loop goes in first. So I can say populate 0 for C in call, in range calls. And the outer for loop goes after, so for that many number of rows. So we'll say for R in range, you can say rows. And let's go ahead and print this. And I'll comment out the previous code so it looks better. Yeah, okay, so save and run this. Great, yeah, so we got the same answer. And there's another thing that we can do that is a Pythonic way of doing things. So we can also name our variable as underscore because we don't, we're not really reusing the variables in the list comprehension. So Python lets us do this, which is awesome. And yeah, did you see how easy it is to just create a 2D matrix um, in list comprehension over here? Awesome. So I'll go ahead and run this as well. So we'll go save and run. And yeah, we got the same answer. So we have successfully initialized and filled out a 2D matrix uh, given the number of rows and columns. 
Thanks guys. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and if you have a different solution, please post it in the comments below. It is just going to help other people look at the solutions and understand and solve this problem themselves. Thanks guys. Happy coding.